let's see how to implement many to one relationship in database using hibernate we are going to implement the following scenario we have a department to which many employees belong that is many employees belong to one department let's see how to implement this by using hibernate in this example we will create two classes to represent entities that is employee class and department class each of this class has its corresponding hbm file that is employee.hbm.xml and department.hbm.xml shown is the contents of department.hbm.xml we have a class tag which contains a name attribute which maps to the department class and the table name is dept meta attributes gives extra information that is class description which contains the details of department class the primary key for the department table is department id and is generated by using id tag since the generator class is set to assigned it means the end user has to assign value for the department id we have another property name department name which is of type string and which is mapped to a column name dept underscore name shown is the corresponding department dot java class inside this class we have a long department id and string department name we have overloaded constructors and getters and setters for the corresponding attributes shown is the content of employee.hbm.xml inside the class attribute we map the name to the employee class and the table is set to emp the primary key for this table is generated by using the id tag and the generator class attribute is set to native which means database will select the best approach for generating primary key we have another two properties employee name and address to maintain relationship between employee and department we make use of many to one tag in which we set the name of the property as dept class as department column as department id if we want to save department on saving employee then we can make use of the cascade attribute in which cascade is set to all shown is the corresponding employee.java class which contains employee id employee name address and department we have setters and getters for the same and also have overloaded constructor the final step is to test the application and the same is done by using emp department main class within the main function of this class we create an employee object and set its name and address next we create a department object and set its name as com and department id as 1 we say employee dot set department as department and finally we invoke the save employee method shown is the content of save employee method first we create a session by using hibernate util dot get session factory dot open session next we create a transaction and begin the same and save the employee object by invoking such dot save we commit the transaction and finally close it similarly we create a second employee object name second and set its department also as com and again save the same by using save employee method let's execute the application and find out the corresponding output on executing the main class we have two tables created in our database that is employee table and department table we have two employees inserted in this table 
maintaining relationship with the department table in which we have one entry with department id as one and department name as com thus we were able to implement many to one relationship between employee and department by using hibernate Next, let's see how to implement one-to-many relationship using Hibernate.